Good day, Robert Williams here with today's word of the day, which is clepsydra. This is an amazing looking word. Looks a bit like it might be something to do with stealing, but it isn't. Uh, not at all. It is, in fact, an ancient water clock or a time measuring device that uses water. Basically, the principles are well, it's a little bit like an hourglass where the sand trickles through the little channel at a specified rate but instead of using sand a clepsydra uses water usually they look like bowls and have a little hole in them or something like that so that's a clepsydra the challenge word i left you with on friday was bluey now i did say there are a number of different options you can have here one, of course, is rather typically Australian, where Australians can be sometimes a bit contrary. That is to say, you say somebody is a bluey if they've got red hair. So it's, that's quite a common thing in Australia. If somebody's red head, then you get called a bluey. Uh, another meaning can be the blue cattle dog, which is quite common in Australia. That's sometimes called a bluey. A very popular dog and an all Australian breed. Then there's the blue jacket, that uh, wool jacket that working people, working men on construction sites often wear. That's called a bluey. And finally, and probably more commonly, is the blue bottle jellyfish. They are often called blueies. Um, they're very dangerous, of course. They can kill you. So you don't want to have an encounter with a bluey. Today's challenge word is bounce. Bounce away and see if you can find what a bounce is in Australia. Of course there's a standard definition worldwide but in Australia there's a specific local use for bounce. Go and ask somebody, look it up, find out for yourself. That's the point of these videos. If you like our video please click the like button on YouTube, it's down here. Uh, if you want to find out more about the Clearly Talking Accent Reduction Programme and how it might help you or someone that you love, drop me a line to robert at clearlytalking.com. See you tomorrow.